Hi family. Happy Tuesday. Grand Rising. This is the energy reading for Tuesday the 19th. What's in the energy for Tuesday the 19th? Does it mean it's manifesting Tuesday the 19th? It can be if you are in alignment. <laughs> All right. So um, let's see what the message is. I was in meditation and I heard spirits say to do like water signs, fire signs, air signs, earth signs, like all together, like a reading for water, a reading for fire. So we'll see. Um, I'm, I'm exploring that, what I, what I got. I was doing an intuition meditation. So, and I heard spirits say that. So I guess we'll give it a shot. Okay. So I don't know when. Uh, it's whenever I'm guided to. I guess I'm being guided to right now. But first, I got to do the, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the dailies. And that's my first, uh, on my first priority. And then uh, we'll get everything else in. But anyway, remember guys, take what resonate and leave the rest for others. Let's put the deck. And we have here the Eight of Swords. So uh, let's see what's going on. What's in the energy. Yeah, we could be conflicted about something here or unsure about something or feeling like we're, you know, kind of stuck. Ooh, five of five of wands. Uh, probably somebody here may want to get out of a certain situation here and they're trying to to move things around, perhaps move money around, make arrangements, you know, um, just trying to get all the pieces right together here and fall and fall into place okay we do have the hermit again all right i'm going to connect with the energy thank you guys for liking sharing and subscribing for all the uh, new subscribers welcome welcome to the family to the returning subscribers uh, welcome back my loves thank you for all of your donations for um scheduling personal readings with me for purchasing decks i really do love and appreciate you all so much thank you for following me on instagram at infant underscore love 1111 all right um let's see here what the energy is for tuesday i'm not for tuesday the 20th yes Thank you, angels and spirit guides. All right, spirit, what is the energy here for Tuesday the 20th? Ooh, we, uh, the first card out is usually the most important. It kind of like creates that theme, right? We have the Ace of Cups. <laughs> we will, we shall take it. <laughs> There's a, a, a lot of emotion here, right? It could be new feelings emerging. It could also be a new opportunity coming in for love. Um, a sacred encounter I just heard is this is also the cup of, of love of self love. Okay. Um, being very open nine of pentacles in this receiving energy, abundant energy as well. Feeling very satisfied living empress energy. Wowzers. Very fertile. Very, this is the, the minor arcana for the empress is the nine of pentacles. So it's like, being in this really beautiful, fertile, creative energy, spending a lot of time in nature. This is the energy of, of, of luxury, of pleasure, of beauty, of abundance, of fertility and creation, of unconditional love as well. So, very beautiful energy here. What else? We have the emperor, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, divine masculine. Coming on in like a boss right uh, on 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 the on on the chess chess board here okay and we have the fool so this is talking about a new beginning and a taking a leap of faith when it comes to the lovers gemini energy here um 
All right, let's go. What else here, Spirit? So there's a so there's a new offering, a new beginning from a divine masculine. Well, somebody's in their masculine energy here. Um, it doesn't have to be a man, but uh, somebody that's very strong in their authority figure. Could be a father, but just somebody that really has their life together. Very structured, very stable, very solid. Domineering person, really likes to... Very strategic when it comes to... Because chess is a game of strategy. So... Somebody is very strategic when it comes to the moves that they make in their life. Very successful even. Business owner, entrepreneur. This is your boss's boss's boss. Okay? It's the emperor. All four kings in one. So this is somebody that's very... We'll see if this emperor is emotionally available, if this emperor is open and ready. Right? But it, it, it is a possibility and it is an opportunity. Okay? Coming in here. But, you know, um, we have the Seven of Swords, very strategic. This person is very strategic, okay? <laughs> so, um, Seven of Swords is also considered strategy as well. Um, okay, what else here? Let's see what else is going on for Tuesday the 20th. What is the juice? What's in the energy spirit? We have the Seven of Cups. This is options. Okay, many options. And then we have the Four of Wands with the Emperor. So we could be talking about um, a, the eleven eleven card, a Twin Flame connection. And the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, we could be talking about... Um, huh. It's important that you make a very clear decision and that you choose wisely. Okay, because this is this is the choice you make now. You want to choose from your heart space. The choice you make now is going to determine which path you're going to go on, right? But I think that you're very discerning at this time. We're definitely going to clarify a couple of these. Maybe all of them. Give me one more here. Spirit for the collective. Um, we, we could be talking about somebody that has an Indian culture. Doesn't have to be. Okay. Um, what else? Not everything in this cut, in these cups are, is for you. Okay. So, um, there's a lot of offerings. There's a lot of opportunities. There's a lot of possibilities coming your way. One of them is your cup, King of Cups. King of Cups. <laughs> This person likes to be by the water. They're probably, they probably have a boat or they're on a boat. Okay. And, uh, and, and there, this is a beginning of something new. So it is important that you get out of your head about this so that we don't self-sabotage here. Right. Uh, that you, that, you, that you're not chasing, you're not pushing, you're not forcing a situation to happen. Okay. Um, there's a, there's a, a overflow feeling of emotions here for somebody with the Ace of Cups. I'm getting, it's deep. The, the feelings. Tell me, give me one more here, sir, please. Okay, I got three more. Okay, so I don't, I'm debating if I should take it or not. Here's the hermit again. We saw the hermit in, in what, yesterday's reading? Here's the hermit again. So we have here, what's under the hermit? Judgment. Okay, taking, taking some time alone so you can, you know, do the self-evaluation here. There's a lot of healing. And forgiveness work that was done in this hermit energy. You've been spending a lot of time alone, but now you're kind of like coming out of hermit mode. So we have here the, the two of cups. This is a soulmate connection. As much as uh, folks are have been possibly trying to block it out, put your guard up, you know, keep folks at arm's length here, you know, and um, set boundaries, stand their ground, you know, be very defensive here. You can't deny these feelings that you feel. We were guarded because of fear. We're probably talking about a runner chaser here with the seven of swords. Uh, you know, an in and out situation maybe for some. We'll see as I clarify. 
Well, we have the moon. See how her hand is in her heart? It's like following your heart is going to be important. So basically, uh, what is it when we are loving without boundaries and without condition, right? This is having all kinds of conditions and all kinds of boundaries. And, uh, and over here, you're just allowing yourself to feel, trust your intuition and follow your heart. Lower your barriers, lower your guard regarding a certain situation. So, um, I'm also getting somebody's not being honest regarding how they feel. They're wearing a mask. They have this real strong facade here, right? But, um, they have this strong facade, but inside they feel real deeply here. There's a lot of deep emotions, suppressed, repressed emotions hit. There's a lot of things here that you still don't see and don't know. But if you allow the, the your intuition to light up the way for you, one step at a time, the path will become clear. So this is somebody here. As you can see, this two of cups couple is biracial, but they're also older in this, in this image, which is telling me here that we're talking about a life partner of yours that's going to unconditionally love you that here to stay. You may not be in union with this person in physical union, but this person is here to stay. There could have been people that came into in between you guys. As I'm seeing, you know, in the seven of swords, you know, people sneaking out here, I'm seeing here to a couple. And then there's another person I'm seeing here, multiple people. It could have been a lot of indifferent. Why are you on this journey? I'm getting on this journey. You're on the journey. There could have been a lot of um, barriers and blockages and obstacles and challenges. But at the end of the day, this is where you're going to end up. This is a beautiful uh, spiritual soulmate connection here that is unconditional, I just heard. Speaking of, I want to find out more about this Two of Cups. Tell me about this Two of Cups. Tell me a little bit more about this Two of Cups, Spirit. Tell me about this Two of Cups for the collective for Tuesday. Send the energy. It's a past life connection. For sure. So that's why you guys have a contract. So that's why it's so unconditional here, right? This is unconditional love. See, they're, they're, it's clear that they're older. That they've been through this journey here. They've done this before. They've done this before. You know, so it's like you guys are brought back again together in this lifetime to complete this contract. 11-11. Twin flame, uh, high level soulmate, whatever you want to call it. Okay. But again, the barriers and the blockages and the guarded energy here is from fear. We have here, clarify the emperor. This is a past life connection. Clarify the emperor. Stuck. So. What is this, what is this, is this, this emperor stuck in a marriage or some kind of commitment or this is just in all in this emperor's head. We did see the eight of swords. We have rejection here all in this emperor's head, right? I'm feeling with the seven of swords. This is somebody here that is in love with one person, but this person is a secret. So this victim consciousness, this stuck energy, tell me more. Give me one more for this emperor, this divine masculine. Feeling helpless and hopeless victim consciousness. Like they, like they, they're, they're getting ready with this emperor energy. It just doesn't go with the stuck because emperor energy 
is uh, the energy of leadership and taking charge and taking control of one's life. Ma very strong masculine energy of, of power, okay? And, you know, for them to feel like this, it just doesn't fit. It's just not in this emperor's energy or character, you know, archetype to, to be like this, okay? So we have here a mirror. So, so this is could be your mirror counterpart, but this is uh, this emperor. There's something being mirrored to this emperor. We'll get more details. They're not being honest with themselves, or they're missing the point here. There's misunderstanding at the bottom of the deck. Tell me more about um, the Ace of Cups, or somebody could be stuck in a marriage. I said that twice. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Not knowing that they have like an a plethora. The Ace of Cups is true love and hidden feelings. Like I said, with this moon card, the divine masculine, okay, um, has hidden feelings regarding their true love. Somebody's unhappy here, stuck wherever they are. They could probably be doing mirror work right now or shadow work. But this emperor, when you were talking about an emperor, you're talking about, when you talk about the divine mind, we talk about somebody that has a lot of responsibilities, okay? They're doing things in their lives. They have a lot on their plate. They could just be stuck, you know, at this time in another state or in a career or school or something. They could be doing all of the, all of, all of the things, right? Have a lot on their plate, okay? And um, building them their empire. But... There's a lot of feelings here. I'm getting a fair at the bottom of the deck. So I did say, I, I kept seeing more than one person here. And that's probably why there's a boundary up. Somebody might be a secret with the Seven of Swords. That's why we have a, a barrier, and a, but we can't deny these feelings. Look, I was holding a heart. Like I, Even though I can feel you in the fifth dimension, you're not here with me. To touch me, we're not you're not physically here. Although we may be physically apart, spiritually, we're always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Look at that fifth dimension. Okay, tell me about the the four of wands here. Marriage. I can't make this up, you guys. You guys saw the card jump, right? You're here for the magic. It's a card of marriage, okay? So this is them getting married. This is them getting married. So somebody could be stuck in a marriage. This person could be seeing you as marriage material. Yeah, the divine feminine here. And we have the divine masculine, divine feminine. You guys may have definitely been married in a past life. I, I, I just heard I lost you in other lifetimes. And I'm afraid to lose you again. Look at this. Unconditional. Didn't I see that? Older couple. Older couple. Somebody could be caught up in a false twin flame dynamic here. Because of um, the physical stuff. Contracts, right? Karmic contracts that needs to be completed. But somebody here wants marriage. Clarify marriage with the four of wands. Chaser in reverse. So the second we stop chasing and we start attracting, <laughs> this will come to fruition, okay? So what happens when you chase things? It runs from you, right? What's chasing? Look, free will. Free yourself from this, okay? The chasing here comes from lack, from longing, needing, yearning, wanting, desiring, missing, and what, that hap what happens is we push it away when we're in this energy. That's what happens. Okay, so we have free will at the bottom of the deck. Where is my tarot? All right, Spirit, tell me a little bit more about, I wanna know more about this emperor. What's going on with this emperor? We get what we're, what's meant for us What's destined and faded for us when we stop chasing. When we, when we get out of lack and we truly believe and know that what's for us 
is here for us and will be for us. Right, when we get out of this energy of um, apathy, clarify the emperor. So this, th th there's hidden feelings here. Somebody's cup is overflowing with love. The emperor, the king of pentacles, is the emperor. So this person is very wealthy or successful, very well manifested in the material world. Okay? Uh, it could be an earth or, or a fire sign, doesn't have to be. So, um, how beautiful is this reading? Tell me here more about this Emperor and King of Pentacles. Passion has been ignited. A spark has been lit here. Okay, so good. This means that we're, we're, we're coming out of feeling stuck. It's a call to action. Somebody's feeling more ready more grounded, more stable, more secure, because they went through a, a, a ending, a death process, a spiritual transformation, a change, a major change, an unraveling of their old self, okay? And this is like the phoenix rising from the ashes. Tell me about the ace of cups. Three of cups. So this is talking about a reunion, a, a fresh new beginning. Somebody's coming in as a new person after their you know, um, transformation. Okay. Uh, what about the seven of cups? You, somebody here might be, um, again, might have some options here, but I'm getting here that, um, with the seven of cups, cups, it means, you know, procrastination. It does mean confusion and illusion and fantasy and daydreaming, you know, um, but it's looking to me like as many options as this person has, right <laughs> in their face clearly there's only one cup here right that tell me about yeah tell me about yeah clearly there's only one cup that this person hasn't has is fixated on here or has their eye on seven of cups clarify this six of cups came out in reverse so somebody's releasing the past healing from the past and exploring their options here <laughs> somebody has definitely healed definitely healed have come to somewhat of internal internal peace there were probably for a long time this inner war this inner battle this push and pull this tug of war but i'm also getting that there is competition for this person now there's more than one person because somebody has leveled up has healed the star only comes after we have a tower the star is renewal and, and, and spirituality and serenity, hope and faith. Somebody could be, uh, again, this is somebody here that's getting a lot of, that she's in the middle and she's getting a lot of offerings and a lot of attention. So somebody could be a star. They could be in the limelight in the, in the, in the public eye. Okay. But somebody here is getting their wish after they healed from their childhood trauma and released the past. Four of Wands, clarify the Four of Wands. With this marriage card. Yeah, somebody has been doing a lot of healing here, okay? Yeah, it's taken a lot of strength and courage, confidence to release self-doubt. You know, um, and, and once we do that, right, we align here. Somebody may have a Ju their Jupiter and Leo. But once we do that, once we, you know, get that inner and outer spiritual strength here and we master the lesson, somebody's heart chakra was cracked wide open. And, um, and it's taken a lot of courage, a lot of strength, inner and outer and confidence to persevere through this, a lot of healing. Okay. And, uh, I feel like this reunion is happening because somebody finally, you know, let go. So now here comes a, 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 the wheel is turning. Here comes somebody let go. So here comes the, the change, the powerful change, the change in fortune and luck and destiny. The wheel is turning now. Yeah, there definitely could have been here. I'm, I'm going to say it because it's, I'm seeing it everywhere. There definitely could have been a third party situation. Okay. But nothing can 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 
fear and, and, and all this stuff can definitely keep the divine couple apart, but nothing will, this love is, 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 the fire will never die for this kind of love. The passion will live on. It's like you guys can go, I don't know, how many years without seeing each other, and then when you finally, when you see each other again, the passion, the desire, the fire will still be there. The, pa the, the love will still be there like it never went anywhere. So it's like picking up where you left off kind of thing. Tell me about the Three of Swords here with the Four of Wands. The world. It's the end of this cycle. That's what I thought. The world. You completed this cycle. You can celebrate now. Now you're getting your heart's truest desires. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Oh, <laughs> it went flying. I got so excited. We got here the Knight of Cups. Here comes the love offer. And this is going to be last. It's a, it's a past life and it's going to be lasting. Okay. You, you already had several lifetimes with this person. Here we have two kings, three kings. We have options. <laughs> One of these kings here is your true cup your true love so choose wisely won't don't make your decision based on what happened in the past you you healed you forgave you let don't compare is what i'm saying i mean yeah we take our lessons with us right so we don't repeat them but we have a beautiful sacred feminine here in self-love, self-worth, independence, energy, surrounded by all of these options and offers. Okay? And we're going to have to make a decision. And this person that you decide, you will know. Trust your intuition. Feel it out. Right? You're going to have to probably set boundaries with, with a couple here. So I got to plug in my phone. So I was shaking a little bit. Okay, so tell me here about this Knight of Cups. You're about to be courted. You'll know, ooh, we. You'll know exactly who this is because you, they will feel good to you. They will feel, you will have past life uh, memories. They will feel familiar. They will feel, um, you know, like you've known them before, comfortable, okay? Um, but again, you'll, you'll know exactly what to do. You, you may not, it could have been a situation that wasn't stalemate for a while. You may not see, okay? Uh, but again, if you, if you go within and you close your eyes and you listen to your heart, listen to the whispers of your intuition, you will get the answers, you'll get the clarity, okay? So um, you'll know because one of them is probably going to be more, uh, more cl closed off. One of them is going to be, one of the options is going to be more emotionally detached and closed off and mostly... Uh, mostly a sexual attraction and the other is going to be more soul, more spirit, more past lifey, right? More, you know, um, safe. Where I heard the word safe. So, um, okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Look what happens when you stop chasing. You attract. Spirit, tell me um, here. Tell me here about this. Uh... First of all, give me the guidance before you tell me anything else. Give me the guidance for the collective here. Okay. We have balance. Yin, yang. Balance. You need to be a balanced connection here. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. What else? Criti this came out in reverse. Criticizing one another would only lead to unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. Yeah, yeah. Unconditional love here. Spirit, um, can you please tell me a little bit about what this Emperor King of Pentacles is up to? When it comes to the matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So... This person just needed to get out of their hearts and get into their, their heart. I mean, get out of their minds and get into their heart space. But this person is a secret admirer. Someone that has deeper hidden feelings. That has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. 
the divine masculine. It's true love that you have with this person. Tell me about the divine masculine. Be aware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another. It's so a mirroring, right? Uh, one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are your own reflection. So we got a mirror here. So, you know, uh, I talked a lot about mirroring. You know, it's like, go within here yourself so you can see how you could potentially be mirroring each other. Could you have limitations up as well? Could you potentially you know, um, not being very honest, could your heart still be, could you not be really open? Could you be still making your love-based decisions from your ego, from fear, and not from love? You know, we have sacred union. Tell me here about, um, give me more on this emperor. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for an only being true to yourself That you could be true to others. So this person may have been the kind of person that um, made a lot of decisions in their lives based on what other people think. So what they, they think that they should do instead of doing what they want to do. Uh, it could also be pride and ego, right? <clears throat> um, I want to know a little bit more about the emperor and the king of pentacles. So somebody's fire is lit here. Somebody's fire is definitely lit. I didn't clarify the Seven of Swords. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, Spirit. What's this about? Fear. Somebody's been wounded in the past, so they, they, they run. They run. They have a guard up, a shield up. But there's a tower. So the tower represents um, a, a breakthrough, okay? Uh, a, a revelation or an upheaval. And so this, this is what this person probably have been through. They could probably be afraid that, that you're going to leave. You know, this is abandonment woundings here. Because this is somebody sneaking out and leaving. And somebody holding on to dear life, looking over their shoulders, feeling very intimidated and guarded and defensive. And, you know, the wounded warrior. This is somebody that's gained a lot of spiritual strength and wisdom here from their past experiences. Somebody that is a little hypervigilant. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Hypervigilant. Maybe expecting the other shoe to drop. Somebody needs to have more faith. But I get it why they wouldn't, you know. But it's like... There's some unfinished business here is what I'm getting. Nine of Wands with the Seven of Swords. Somebody could be like, like lurking in the shadows, hiding. The Empress... That's because of this big goddess empress energy is intimidating somebody. This is somebody that has abandonment woundings for sure. It's like I'm feeling the fear but I'm doing it anyways because my love is stronger than my fear. This is somebody that you have already planted seeds with. But it's now coming to fruition. Hidden feelings. I'm going back to that. Somebody is hiding how they feel about the Empress. Give me, now we have the Divine Masculine and Feminine on, on the board. Give me here for the Empress, clarify. Look inside yourself. Oh my God, I said that. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we're always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. And look, look. Look with inside yourself. Examine what's causing you to feel this way. The Empress could be the one that's uh, guarded and and fearful and defensive. That's why we said here, beware what you're projecting. You could be mirroring each other. You could be feeling really deeply, but you also have your guard up, Empress. Right? You could be like super hyper vigilant on their... You know, maybe putting a lot, prioritizing another. Very protective over your energy. We saw the tower. It's understandable. Oh my gosh. I love this energy. Spirit, tell me here about um, the, the king, the emperor. So we got the emperor and the empress, by the way. We got heartbroken. Deeply hurt, sad separation. 
breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. Yeah, this person really is starting to feel the magnetic pull to, to the Divine Feminine. The Emperor. Tell me more about the Emperor. Love call. They want to reach out. Expect to hear from this person. From the Emperor. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Okay, and we have mirror again. So, not an accident. Boat could be significant. Again, we saw boat twice. This is somebody that could be on the water or near the water or they live near water or they have a boat or they love to fish. A mirroring each other's self-image relationship reflects our woundings. So, there's two people here that could be potentially guarded. Hypervigilant. You know, um... Holding back, holding back they're, 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 they're what they want to say to each other. Don't hold back. Communication is so important. Communication is key. Don't hold back because of your fear of rejection. Clarify the Empress. Palm tree. The Empress is focused on her security, growth, stability. There's a lot of growth with the Empress. I feel like the Empress just keeps on growing. And this Emperor is catching up. Is definitely catching up endurance security permanence growth flexibility stability here tell me more about for the Empress show me the Empress here spirit paradise happiness expansion again joy playfulness oneness enjoying each other this is what the Empress wants this this kind of security and stability and happiness and this is what the Empress is aligning with Okay, so it's looking to me like there is going to be a union here. I feel like this has been a long journey. They're, they're older. Again, I'm going back to this. This has been a long journey. You guys have been on this journey, right, uh, for a long time. It's making me want to use this deck real quick. And then I'll pull Romance Angels and then we'll wrap. Spirit, tell me, please. Um, what do we need to know? What's going on here with this emperor, the divine masculine? Love is a fire. You set their soul, you set their heart on fire in the soul, ever burning, unquenchable and unquenchable. It is a natural and undeniable connection. I told you. I can't make this up, you guys. This emperor could be healing from a heartbreak. It could be healing. It may not even be the heartbreak from this connection. It could be whatever karmic contract that this person is leaving behind. But look, look, the journey. I said that. You guys are on this really long, beautiful journey together. I felt that with this horse. That's what guided me to this deck. The lo this love journey may be long and challenging, but so as long as you are with them, you'll never walk alone. You guys have been on this journey of like healing and ascending and, and 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 building your own stability building your own <laughs> your own stuff right um closing out ancestral stuff getting your life together getting your life in order aligning you know and and creating a good balance and becoming whole and healthy with your own cup of love here by your on your own first you may have you know some karmic contracts you have to 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 resolve and close out in the in the midst of it right but at the end of the day this is where you guys are always gonna you guys were always gonna meant to be together anyway you guys were always gonna end up coming back together anyway and it's like this is where you're meant to be this journey is leading you guys back home to each other this entire time okay so um so this is looking like it is one of those very powerful twin flame um soulmate type of connection for sure right here passion ignited their intense sexual desire towards towards you is making them hard for them to know the difference between no they know it's true love i don't i don't take word for word on this uh on the on these decks depending on on what i get uh they're going within to find a higher purpose and discover the meaning of life in this connection so um you guys were always meant to come back around. Let me get you some messages, and then we'll wrap. You guys were always meant to come back around. 
always. You guys have been on this journey of healing, of ascension, spiritual awakening, spiritual evolution, you know, working on your own uh, missions here, right? Being on your own mission, aligning with unconditional love, coming out of ego, doing the ego death, the shadow work, the inner child work, figuring your own stuff out, rediscovering yourself, coming back home to yourself, becoming whole within yourself. And then now it's like, you guys are so close <laughs> to union. Okay. And, um, and it is because you stop chasing and you let go and you close, you close out the cycle of, uh, you, you've been healing your heart, opening your heart, leave the past behind, closing out the cycle of, of suffering and pain and abandonment, healing from abandonment and codependencies. And you've been growing Empress. You, you have faced your truth. You have been on this beautiful journey <laughs> together, this journey of the heart. And it's like, you're, you're both in the same energy, Emperor, Empress, coming together into union, finally in alignment. What a beautiful love story. What else here, Spirit, for the collective? We have very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now and pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. This could, the red flags, I'm clearly seeing that the red flags could be whatever is being mirrored, whatever is being projected here. Okay? Um regarding the wounds okay didn't we see that mirror mirroring each other's self-image relationship reflects our wounds introspection criticizing one another can only lead to further unhappiness love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform and also something could be coming out of balancing your life clearly decide what you want this card has been jumping every day i think last week <laughs> We have wedding. Again, marriage and wedding. This situation involves marriage. And be very optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith is what's going to bring this together. Not negative thinking, projections, fears, limitations, and doubt. We saw the strength card. That means you're releasing self-doubt. Tell me what the emperor want to say to the empress. I watch you on social media. And the internet it's my way of staying close and finding out more about you we've been picking that up uh, that was yesterday's message and then we have here we need to wait for divine timing timing is healing our wounds and creating the perfect condition for our reunion what else does the Emperor want to say to the Empress uh, mine or your children need to come first trust that they are part of our plan if you don't have children then spirit said alternate to our inner children our inner children need to come first so somebody's doing inner child work yeah struggling with codependency stuck here karmic i'm afraid to let go of my old coping mechanisms but they are i feel like maybe this heart heartbreak is is Crack this emperor wide open here in their in their sacral and heart chakra, and it's making them. They're doing the mirror work. It's making them see a pattern or a loop that they've been in, and they finally want to express themselves. Give me one more for the emperor. Neither one of us is being honest with each other. Seven of sword, so, right now. Why are we afraid to express ourselves? So no one's expressing how they feel. I picked up on that. Very much so. Spirit, the Empress. Clarify the Emperor. I mean, not clarify. What does the Empress want to say to the Emperor? Our love is eternal. It exists in every dimension. It cannot be lost. This love cannot be lost. Although we may be physically apart, spiritually we're always connected. We're always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. What else does the Empress want to say? I miss you. Oh, gosh. This Empress is not letting go with the Nine of Wands. They're still working on themselves, growing, ascending, evolving, but there's this flame, this, this, this flame, this fire will never be put out. Let's both stop running away. The message from the empress to the emperor. Just like you, I'm always working on some form of mission. My energy and wisdom supports those around me. What else does the empress want to say to the emperor? I need to be strong in who I am before I can merge my energy with with yours in the 3D. I'm afraid I could lose myself in this relationship. Yeah, the Empress may have lost herself before, but now it's like the Empress has been working on her stability, her security, her growth, her endurance, her flexibility, her happiness, her becoming one, oneness here. 
okay? So, um, been very standing very strong in her convictions, con taking control of their emotions, standing up for what you believe in with the Seven of Wands, right? As twin flames, we are here to send and help others do the same. This is a, clearly, this is a twin flame reading. <laughs> I want to let my guard down with you, but fear makes me lash out in self-defense. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave this here. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, what? A, no words. I don't even know what to title this, but um, it is a very beautiful twin flame reading, a very beautiful love story. Okay. And uh, the more we heal, the more we become strong in who we are, the more we release, the more we stop missing yearning longing the more the closer we are to union i love you guys god bless you and namaste much love until next time